Dear Wolfgang, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday when I entered the plane, I thought I have one problem. The problem to tell the right things and the right words and to talk about the right issue here and today. When I arrived here in that room and after the remarks of Andy, I know that I have more than one problem. One is that Andy explained in a fantastic way the character of Wolfgang. The second thing is that I checked the program and now knowing what I should talk about. And the third thing, it, oops, is again the language. But that might be the beginning point for my short explanation. The first time I met Wolfgang, and I'm sure you know the exact date, Wolfgang, I only know that it was around the year 2000, in a city that no one of you knows, Bochum, located in the middle of Germany in an old industrial area. I was told that there's someone coming from Canada and given a presentation about return to work. I think you can't imagine what the first reaction is for a German working in a workers' compensation system, that means an occupation accident insurance system that is doing return to work since more than 100 years. And then there is a Canadian <laughs> coming in and wants to tell you how to deal with that. And my thoughts about that presentation were that will not run well. And it was that way, but for a different reason. Because I know one of the first sentences I said to you after your presentation was, who has told you that a PowerPoint in dark green and black is able to deliver such a brilliant idea? <laughs> and we had several, I think, situations where you gave that presentation in that terrible colors, absolutely not barrier free, absolutely not. And it took some time before you changed that. But the amazing thing was, even that the presentation was not well regarding the PowerPoint, even that Wolfgang said at the first presentation that his German is a little bit, you said, rusty. I can say my English a little bit incomplete. Even regarding that, I think everyone, everyone in the room realized it's not only an everyday presentation. There's something important going on, even in the field where the Germans thinks, uh, th thought that they were the only champions at that time. I don't know if we met in between the year 2000 and the year 2002, but the year 2002 was a very important one not because I took over the position as the CEO of the German Social Accident Insurance, at that time it was a different name, no. It was the time where we had some phone calls and meetings on the technical level before, because Wolfgang was on the way on, as it was told, on selling the standards to the Germans. And again, we came to that critical point that these Canadians who have a young history in social security have been on the way on telling the Germans with an experience for more than at that time 120 years in return to work in selling them a product called standards and had these terrible idea that the Germans should work after that standard. My God, that's like an idea if a Canadian would take over the coach for the German national soccer team. Right? <laughs> and it was a critical evening, I think, which we both will never forget. And it was a hard way to get to that first picture, which I want to show you. This is in my office, if you remember it. But before we were signing the contract and the content was that we will use the standards and the modules of the education for the 
certified disability management program in Germany. We had an evening at the Hilton Hotel in Bonn. And I'm sure in the near future there will be a special yeah, information at the entrance that this is a place of history for social security in Canada and in Germany. Wolfgang was on the way on signing a contract with someone who was not the German social accident insurance. He was on the way on signing a contract with a big private insurance who wanted to take these modules only for its own company. And some of my stuff, I don't want to mention the name here, was telling Wolfgang that the new CEO will never sign, never sign a contract with Canada or with Lidmar at that time to implement that standard in Germany. So he was more on the way to say, give that to the private insurance company and go your own way. As you can see, that evening went in a different way because that brilliant idea that Wolfgang presented one and a half year before in Bochum was on the next level, on the next step, because we had it into these, at that time I think it was 24 or 25 modules, and said, okay, this is fantastic, and let's bring that to the home country of return to work. What was the big difference? The most genius ideas are the most simple ones. It was not that Wolfgang was the one who invented return to work as a new philosophy. It is an old philosophy. But what was his brilliant and genius idea was to take the best of different systems and make a standard out of it. And no one of these brilliant Germans 100 years before had that simple idea. So if you think it was from that point on an easy way to implement and establish that international standard, what was at the beginning only called the NIDMAR standard or the Canadian standard in Germany, into our system, then you are wrong. It was absolutely hard work. And I only want to mention it by one example. Can you imagine that thousands of people working in a system for more than 100 years in the return to work area and having the title, I mentioned that this morning, job helper, and you are on the way and explaining to those people, hey, I have something brilliant new for you. We have a special training program and at the end you will get a certification and you may call yourself disability managers. The answer was usually, hey, at first, why do we need an anglophone word for that? DM. I said, DM is a good idea, that's like Deutschmark, and in the year 2002, <laughs> we were turning to the euro, and if you laugh about it or not, that helped at that time. And you could also answer them and say, why are you afraid of writing an exam and getting a certification? And the first reaction of those people was, why should I write that exam? It's so easy. These are day-to-day -day questions. I can answer it all of them without having a training. And it was the best answer given to them, said, if it's so easy, so do it. So you get the certificate for free, at least, without training, without any effort. And we decided at that point, Wolfgang, you know, okay, let's first do it with the pilot because we did not know if the system would be accepted in Germany or not. That pilot that was planned for 10 to 15 people had within some days more than 100 people who want to go for it and say, okay, we, we tried to write that exam and for several surprise, some of them failed and that helped enormously. That was the beginning, and no one, besides you, no one could realize what would happen afterwards. It was not only that three years later, yeah, you can see that you were three years older on that picture, but 
Three years later, we signed the next contract, not only using the education models, but, but also the audit. And at that time, we had more than 250 disability managers in Germany. To tell you where we are now, to mention it here, in Germany, we have at the moment more than 1,200 disability managers, and that means 1,200 job helpers of the old times who are now proud of having that certification and really can show to all the people, to all the companies, to all the injured ones, that they are the specialists, that they have an education not only from the German experience, but from the international ones. So what has happened within a short time period was we have a kind of a society of the disability managers. And that is not only a society in Germany, no. I think we have a society around the world. And that was the next step that happened. Uh, if, if you look um, to the left side of you, that's not me losing the hairs. That is one of the people of my stuff who was not really convinced at the beginning from that idea. But he was proud in signing the first international contract. That means with the Swiss university, to be honest, up to now, it's not the most successful stories with the Swiss, but those of us, I don't know if there are Swiss people in the room, those of us who know the Swiss know that it takes some time in Switzerland before things are moving forward. So I'm sure that even in Switzerland, the society of disability managers will grow much more as it has been during the last 10 years. At the moment, we are not only at the situation that there is, is the biggest society of disability managers in Germany or in Austria or in Switzerland or in France or in Belgium or in Ireland or in England, and I can add some more, no. What's really the impact of that should be explained by one example. The biggest country in the world which is looking around the world, which is the best system in engineering, in infrastructure, and also in social security, has decided two and a half years ago to implement the disability management system in China. And that is much more than having another legislation that is joining the disability management system. No, that is a kind of a gold medal because the Chinese have really checked all the systems around the world before they decided to go that way. And that shows that we are not at the end of a story. No, we are just at the beginning. And I'm sure that we will have not only the chance, but that we will have politicians and employers who will be convinced to implement that system in their country, in their area. It's not a wonder that the next contract, and Wolfgang loves to sign contracts, I can tell you, was done in the year 2011 with the ISA, the International Social Security Association, to build an official partnership, and that was, if it was necessary, really the step on the international level and as I mentioned it, we are walking on that. Using my time, I had the idea to mention also one or two private things. And I think I'm allowed to tell that because there was one problem at the beginning, Cam. When my assistant asked you, hey, what is the program at that uh, day and what is what Joachim Breuer should talk about? And I can quote it originally that your answer was, your can, can tell about a lot of things. And then was, uh, if he wants to something about the German social access insurance and the implementation. Okay, so I'm using that with a lot of things and mention one thing, very personal, private of Wolfgang. 
I don't know if some of you have ever visited Wolfgang in his house, if you had the honor. And it is an absolute fantastic experience. It starts with the explanation how to find the way to him. His typical answer is follow the road, if you find the right road, and if you see a tiny yellow ribbon on the left side in the middle of the bushes, then turn down to the left. It is really that way. You can't see a sign, there's not a number, there's nothing. It's only that little tiny yellow ribbon there. And if you see the house, and if you get the information that this house was built by Wolfgang, after his accident. Then you get an impression what his saying really means, that everyone can work, that everyone is important for society, that there are at least no barriers, but you have to jump over these barriers and to look for solutions. And that without a feeling of being a star with a big sign here is where Wolfgang lives. No, only with that little tiny yellow ribbon. And that explains much more the character of Wolfgang than hundreds or thousands of other words. And that is the fantastic thing that a brilliant idea and a brilliant person have found the way together. But one thing must be critical to mention it here. As a German, I have never understood if you have these fantastic salmons fresh from the sea, put it on the grill, and then you take these terrible teriyaki sauce <laughs> and serve the salmon with teriyaki, and you get these Sawmill Creek red wine, I don't know what was first, if you're taking the teriyaki on the salmon to get another taste from the red wine or it was the other way around. That is something we need to discover for the next future. And for the next future, and I will finish by that, not to expand too much time, I start going backwards with one picture. Wolfgang is not only active in the disability management area. He is doing a lot in other fields, in Rehabilitation International. He's uh, also active if you need some help in your country, not only with the certification system. And so it was for sure a logical reaction. And we produced a film, a, a real movie in Germany about the Paralympic athletes and called that movie Gold, not for the gold man, uh, medal, but with the subtitle, you can achieve more than you think. And when we produced that, we were looking for ambassadors for that film. And the idea was that these people, the famous people, write the word gold on the hand and show it to the people. And Wolfgang, did not hesitate a second to do that. And for me, Wolfgang, that is the right picture not only for the movie. It is the right picture for you as a person because you are gold and we can achieve more than we think and the reason is that you invented a fantastic thing. So let's go ahead for the next years and uh, I skipped the most important private experiences we had with red wine and others, and I expect a glass of wine for the next time. Thanks. Thank